Hi friends, welcome back to Wanderlust channel. Today, we're giving you a quick introduction to over 40 amazing tourist spots in Kadakanal. Be sure to check the description for dedicated videos on some of these locations and links to their Google Maps. Let's dive in and get started. We are starting with Chettier Park. Chettier Park is a serene, lesser-known gem in Kadakanal. This beautifully maintained park provides a peaceful retreat for visitors, featuring well-manicured lawns, vibrant flowers, and a variety of plants and trees. It's an ideal spot for relaxation and picnics, with a dedicated play area for children that makes it perfect for families. The entry fee is 20 rupees for adults. Upper Lake View Point is one of the best spots in Kadakanal to witness stunning panoramic views of Kadakanal Lake. This vantage point offers a breathtaking perspective of the star-shaped lake surrounded by lush greenery, making it a must-visit for nature lovers and photography enthusiasts. Rose Garden usually features a stunning array of colorful blooms, making it a visual treat for visitors. The entry fee is 20 rupees. Unfortunately, since the roses are not in bloom during our visit, we've decided to skip this spot. Nearby the Rose Garden is the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, an intriguing spot for those interested in the stars and cosmos. Unfortunately, due to its operating hours from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., and then from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., along with an entry fee of 50 rupees, we were unable to visit this time. Now we are going to Manavanar Lake, on the way we stopped at Polangara Adai Falls, Due to the summer the water flow is very less. Now we have reached Palani Temple Viewpoint. This viewpoint offers a mesmerizing vista of the renowned Palani Murugan Temple and its surroundings. Positioned at an elevation, it provides a panoramic outlook that's visually stunning. Pumbarai Village Viewpoint offers visitors a stunning panorama of the surrounding valleys, hills, and the charming Pumbarai Village nestled amidst lush green landscapes. This vantage point provides breathtaking vistas, perfect for nature enthusiasts and photographers eager to capture the serene beauty of the region. The picturesque village, with its colorful houses nestled amidst verdant fields, presents a captivating sight. Additionally, witnessing the layered farming on the mountains adds to the spectacle, offering a unique perspective on agricultural practices in the region. Here is another view of Pumbarai village, offering breathtaking vistas of the picturesque village nestled amidst verdant landscapes. Manavanar Lake View Point, located on the way to Manavanar Lake, offers visitors a serene and picturesque setting to admire the beauty of the lake and its surrounding landscapes. This spot provides a tranquil escape for those seeking to enjoy the natural splendor and peaceful ambience of the area. Manavanar Lake, a serene and picturesque spot near Kadakanal, offers visitors a peaceful retreat amidst nature. Depending on the season, visitors can enjoy a variety of beautiful flowers in full bloom around the lake. To reach Manavanar Lake, visitors typically trek a short distance from the entrance, adding a bit of adventure to the visit. Nearby, there is a goat farm offering another glimpse into rural life. Located approximately 35 kilometers from Kadakanal town, Manavanar Lake charges an entry fee of 30 rupees. Pundi is a lesser explored agricultural village near Kadakanal. Along the way to Pundi, travelers pass through numerous picturesque spots, including beautiful agricultural landscapes. This area offers serene views of lush green fields, quaint farms, and the natural beauty typical of the Western Ghats region. The Sheep Research Center in Manavanar spans a vast area of lush green meadows and rolling hills near Kadakanal. It serves as a home to various breeds of sheep and rabbits, offering a serene environment that is visually captivating for visitors. The entry fee is 20 rupees per adult. From the Sheep Research Center, visitors can also enjoy scenic views of the expansive green meadows in Manavanar Lake, enhancing the overall experience of tranquility and natural beauty. 
On the way back to Kadakanal, we can take a thrilling detour through the forest area to Kukul Lake. The journey through the forest is exhilarating, offering a sense of adventure and the chance to experience the untamed beauty of the region. Bedampankarai Lake, situated on the way to Kukul, is a serene destination perfect for nature lovers and those seeking tranquility near Kadakanal. The pristine waters of the lake reflect the surrounding scenery, creating a picturesque setting that's ideal for photography and relaxation. This peaceful spot offers visitors a chance to unwind amidst nature's beauty, making it a delightful retreat along your journey. Kukul Lake is a picturesque gem nestled amidst lush hills and dense forests near Kadakanal. This serene sanctuary offers a tranquil escape from the hectic pace of everyday life. Unlike more commercialized destinations, Kukul Lake retains its pristine charm, making it the perfect setting for a peaceful picnic or a leisurely stroll along its shores. Visitors can immerse themselves in the natural beauty of the surroundings, enjoying the calm waters and scenic views that characterize this hidden gem. Moore Point is named after Sir Thomas Moore, who marked this location while constructing the Goshen Road in 1929. This viewpoint offers breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding valleys and hills. Renowned for its spectacular vistas, Moir Point provides an expansive view of lush green valleys and hills stretching into the distance, especially clear on sunny days, making it perfect for photography enthusiasts. In addition to its natural beauty, Moir Point features a historical marker and a small memorial, adding a touch of historical significance to your visit. The entry fee to Moir Point is 10 rupees. Near Moir Point, you'll find a forest check post that serves as the entry point to Barajam Lake. Access to Barajam Lake is restricted, with only 20 vehicles allowed per day, as I've heard. To embark on this adventure, it's advisable to arrive early in the morning, ideally by 8.30 am. However, we'll save this experience for another visit. The pine forest in Kadakanal, planted by Mr. Bryant in 1906, has evolved into one of the region's most beloved tourist attractions. Walking through the pine forest feels like entering another world. The tall, majestic pine trees form a canopy that filters sunlight, creating a magical ambience. The forest floor, carpeted with a thick layer of pine needles, enhances the serene and almost mystical atmosphere. Guna Cave, also known as Devil's Kitchen, requires a short walk to reach its vicinity. This cave gained fame after being featured in the Tamil movie Guna, and has since become a popular attraction. More recently, the Malayalam movie Manjumal Boys has also brought attention to this spot. Due to its depth and the risk of getting lost, Guna Cave is not accessible to visitors, and the main entrance is fenced off for safety reasons. However, the view of the cave and the surrounding forest is captivating and well worth the visit. A watchtower nearby offers additional views of the valleys. The entry fee is 10 rupees. The roots of trees near Guna Cave are another highlight. Visitors often enjoy climbing through these roots, adding an adventurous element to their visit to this fascinating natural site. Pillar Rocks, one of Kadakanal's most famous landmarks, features three giant rock pillars that soar up to 400 feet in height. The sheer size and beauty of these formations are truly awe-inspiring, making it a stunning sight to behold. An intriguing aspect of Pillar Rocks is the chamber between two of the pillars, famously known as Devil's Kitchen or Guna Cave. This narrow passage adds a sense of mystery and allure to the place, inviting exploration and fascination among visitors. The Kadakanal Golf Course is an expansive 18-hole course set amidst the lush greenery of the surrounding hills. Known for its stunning landscape, the course is enveloped by dense forests and undulating hills, offering golfers a tranquil and scenic environment. Established in 1895, the Kadakanal Golf Club boasts a rich history. Originally a nine-hole course, it was later expanded to its current 18-hole layout. Green Valley View, formerly known as Suicide Point, offers an incredible vista of sprawling plains, deep valleys, and rolling hills in Kadakanal. One of its most striking features is the 5,000-foot drop that overlooks the lush Vigai Dam. To reach the viewpoint, visitors walk along a path lined with shops and stalls where local vendors sell homemade chocolates, artisan crafts, and traditional hill station snacks. Originally named for its perilous cliffs, safety measures over time have made it accessible and secure for tourists. The Wax Museum in Kadakanal is a fascinating attraction featuring life-size wax figures of famous personalities from diverse fields including history, politics, cinema, and science. 
This is a beautiful waterfall located near the turnoffs for Fairy Falls and Dolphin's Nose. Initially, I thought it was Lyral Falls, but it turns out it's not. I couldn't find the exact name of this waterfall, but I'll include the location in the description for you to find it easily. This hidden gem adds to the charm of exploring Kadakanal, offering a serene spot to enjoy the natural beauty of the area. Fairy Falls is a beautiful waterfall located inside the Horticultural Research Station, and we have free access to it. This scenic gem of Kadakanal cascades down from a height of about 30 feet, creating a picturesque scene. The area around Fairy Falls is lush and green, with dense forests and a variety of flora and fauna, making it a perfect spot for nature lovers. There are dedicated walkways that provide excellent views of the falls, ensuring visitor safety while preserving the natural environment. The Tacanal Falls, also known as Lyral Falls, is situated on the way to Dolphin's Nose. The area surrounding the Tacanal Falls is rich with dense forests, lush greenery, and diverse flora and fauna. The waterfall cascades down from a considerable height, creating a stunning and refreshing sight. We have now reached the starting point of the trek that leads to Dolphin's Nose. From here, we need to trek down around 750 meters to 1 kilometer to reach the spot. It is a tiring descent as the path is unpaved, so be prepared for a bit of a challenge. Halfway through the trek to Dolphin's Nose, we will reach the Mount View viewpoint. This spot offers a perfect place to take a break and enjoy the beautiful scenery, before continuing the descent to Dolphin's Nose. The panoramic views from Mount View are breathtaking, providing a glimpse of the lush valleys and rolling hills that make this trek so rewarding. It's an ideal spot to rest, take photos, and appreciate the natural beauty surrounding us. Continuing from Mount View on the trek to Dolphin's Nose, we will come across hidden falls along the way. This small but beautiful waterfall is a delightful surprise for trekkers. During the monsoon and sometimes in the post-monsoon season, water flows here, adding to the charm of the journey and offering a refreshing pause amidst the trek. Dolphin's Nose is a flat, rocky promontory, offering breathtaking views of the valley below, named for its unique shape resembling a dolphin's nose. The viewpoint provides stunning, panoramic views of the surrounding valleys, hills, and forests. On clear days, you can enjoy expansive vistas with a lush green landscape stretching out before you. During the monsoon season, June to September, while the greenery enhances the beauty of the surroundings, the path to Dolphin's Nose may be more challenging due to slippery conditions. From Dolphin's Nose, I attempted to trek down to find Echo Rock, but unfortunately, I couldn't locate it. The location provided on Google Maps was inaccurate during my visit. Additionally, the unpaved road here has been newly constructed, replacing the narrow walking path that existed previously. Bear Shola Falls is a picturesque waterfall located in Kadakanal, surrounded by dense forests and lush greenery. It's named so because bears were once believed to visit this spot to drink water, especially during the dry season. CSI Christ the King Church in Kadakanal, built in 1895, showcases charming architecture typical of colonial era churches in India. Coker's Walk is a renowned tourist destination in Kadakanal, celebrated for its sweeping panoramic views of the surrounding valleys and hills. Named after Lt. Coker, who engineered the pathway in 1872, the scenic walk has captivated tourists for over a century. Initially designed for residents to enjoy evening strolls amidst cool breezes and scenic vistas, Coker's Walk spans approximately one kilometer. Visitors can experience this tranquil setting for an entry fee of 10 rupees per person, making it an ideal spot for a leisurely walk, while soaking in the natural beauty of Kadakanal. Bryant Park, easily accessible from Coker's Walk, is a botanical garden in Kadakanal. The entry fee is 30 rupees per adult and 15 rupees per child. Bryant Park is renowned for its diverse collection of flora, boasting over 325 species of trees, shrubs, and cacti. Visitors can explore a wide range of flowering plants that add vibrant colors and beauty to the landscape. It serves as a peaceful retreat for nature enthusiasts, offering scenic pathways, manicured lawns, and benches to relax and enjoy the serene surroundings. Our Lady of La Salette Shrine is one of the oldest shrines in Kadakanal, 
holding significant historical and religious importance. Built in 1866 by French missionaries, the shrine is dedicated to Our Lady of La Salette, a title of the Virgin Mary. The shrine commemorates her apparition to two children in La Salette, France, in 1846. The architecture of Our Lady of La Salette's shrine is a beautiful blend of traditional Tamil and French styles. Kadakanal Lake, a star-shaped artificial reservoir situated at the heart of Kadakanal, stands as one of the most beloved attractions in the hill station. Constructed in 1863 under the direction of Sir Vere Henry Levenge, the then collector of Majurai, this iconic lake spans approximately 60 acres. Boating is a favorite pastime here, with visitors enjoying rowboats, pedal boats, and shikara boats to explore the serene waters and admire the breathtaking vistas. Surrounding the lake is a 5-kilometer pathway, ideal for leisurely walks or bicycle rides, with rental options available nearby. The Kadakanal Museum, also known as the Shinbagoner Museum, was established in 1895 and is managed by Sacred Heart College. This museum boasts a diverse collection of artifacts, relics, and exhibits that illuminate the cultural, geological, and natural history of the region. The museum owes its origins to the efforts of Father Usselinks, a Belgian priest who dedicated himself to preserving Kadakanal's heritage and surroundings through his extensive artifact collection. Entry is affordable at just 30 rupees per adult. The city view offers a stunning panoramic vista of Kadakanal, capturing the essence of this picturesque hill station from a distinctive vantage point. From here, visitors can enjoy an expansive view of the town nestled amidst the undulating hills of the Western Ghats. It's a perfect spot to admire the town's charm, surrounded by lush greenery and serene landscapes, making it a memorable experience for anyone visiting this hill station. Silver Cascade Falls is a natural waterfall cascading down the hills near Kadakanal. Situated along the route from Majurai Road to Kadakanal, this waterfall is renowned for its shimmering appearance, as sunlight reflects off the cascading water, giving it a silvery sheen. Fed by the overflow from Kadai Lake, Silver Cascade Falls offers a refreshing and picturesque sight, making it a popular stop for tourists exploring the area. Dolmen Caves are ancient rock formations that offer a window into Kadakanal's deep historical and archaeological legacy. These caves are crucial as they unveil glimpses of early human settlement in the region, displaying remnants of ancient civilizations and their cultural traditions. The Dolmen Caves are distinguished by their large, stacked rocks that create shelter-like structures. These formations are thought to have functioned as residences or burial chambers for early inhabitants. Archaeological research indicates that these caves were utilized by ancient tribes for rituals, ceremonies, and as resting spots during their nomadic existence. When descending from Kadakanal, visitors are greeted by numerous waterfalls cascading down lush green valleys, creating a breathtaking scene of natural beauty. Additionally, the places featured from Kadakanal Museum towards the end of this video can also be explored when traveling uphill to Kadakanal. The Layer Falls viewpoint offers a breathtaking view of one of India's tallest waterfalls, nestled amidst the lush valleys of Kadakanal. The Layer Falls, also known as Rat Tail Falls, is an awe-inspiring cascade located in the Palani Hills near Kadakanal. Plunging from a height of approximately 975 feet 297 meters, it ranks among the highest waterfalls in the country. The viewpoint provides an ideal vantage point to marvel at this natural spectacle, as it cascades down rocky cliffs, surrounded by dense forests and picturesque landscapes. Visitors can enjoy the serene ambience and capture stunning views of the Layer Falls, making it a memorable stop. The Manjalar Dam viewpoint provides a peaceful vista of the serene waters and picturesque surroundings of Manjalar Dam in Kadakanal. This viewpoint offers panoramic views of the expansive reservoir nestled amidst rolling hills and lush landscapes. Visitors can enjoy the tranquil ambience and capture scenic vistas of the dam, which serves as a source of water and a serene retreat amidst nature's beauty. I hope you found the video informative and enjoyable. If you liked it, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Join the channel for early access to future videos or use super thanks to show your support. Don't forget to share the video with fellow travel enthusiasts. Your feedback is valuable to us, so feel free to leave your comments below. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.